Hello guys, welcome back to Adventure. So this video is about the nightlife in Nairobi, Kenya. I've tried everything. I try to call your phone several times, but you leave me with that busy tongue. To be alone, it adds right to my bones. I can't believe, girl, that you left that you're gone. I've tried to drink you, girl, away. So this is just basically a rundown of what I've seen. It was not my uh, main thing to do here, but I wanted to give you guys an idea for those of you who have never been to Kenya before, what the nightlife is like, at least in the city of Nairobi. So if it's your first time on the channel, kindly give that video a like and let's get into this. So the first club I went to is called the 4040 Lounge. And this club is actually located inside a mall. It's the Stellato Mall, I think it's called and it was really really difficult to record there first off the security guards make sure to let you know that you're not allowed to take videos of anybody in there and i'll get more into this later on <laughs> so getting footage there was hard to get you know it was really really difficult i had to be discreet and i still got caught <laughs> filming so when i explained to the security guard that i was actually making a vlog and trying to show people the areas that they can go and hang out for youtube he asked me my YouTube channel, I showed it to him, and then he said, good to go, you can go ahead and record. Long story short, this is a very small, rather small place. They put tables everywhere, so there's no dance floor. You end up just dancing close to your table, if you're into that. People are not really there to socialize with others. They come in groups. So this is not a place that I recommend you go by yourself. And me as a solo traveler, you know, I was lucky that I met uh, the YouTuber by the name of The Traveling Mess, and I was with my friend Evan, so it was totally fine. But this is a place where you basically come with your significant other, and you want to go ahead and enjoy their company there. But this is not a place where you're gonna go ahead and mingle and meet anybody new. You're not going to, because people are there on, on their own. But besides that, once I was allowed to film, I went by the DJ booth, and uh, I was able to grab some of the footage that you can see here. The second place I went to is the Second Brew Bistro. Leaving the 4040 Lounge takes you roughly a ride of at the most seven to 10 minutes to get there. All these clubs I'm mentioning in this video are part of the neighborhood called Westlands. is the expat central and you see it as soon as you come in the club so the first club 4040 lounge had a really nice parking lot i mean it looks like it could have been anywhere in the west you know europe got the parking lot is really really nice so you can always if you're renting a car you can always find something to park although i don't recommend driving because you can you know catch a ride with a taxi or catch a ride with a motorcycle if you're going to be drinking i would not recommend that you actually drive in the city right so it's better to catch a new bar and everything don't drink and drive especially not in the forest country so the second place that we went to is located at the rooftop of this amazing building they actually have a casino in that building as well and that whole entire strip right there which i will put the name on the description so you guys can locate yourself if you are new to the city of nairobi you can actually go down there and walk around and bar hop there's several several bars but let me get back to the club itself the club itself was really large and i like this one more because security actually told me that it was okay for me to film so I just was placed on the top and I could give you some of the you know, footage that you can see from the top. Some people was getting down. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. They were getting it down and dirty. Some of them had too many drinks, I think. It was crazy. I actually had to push a lady off of me because she was just doing the most. Now, that place, you will notice very quickly, interracial couples and dating is very common in Nairobi. That being said, 9 times out of 10, what you will see is white men with black women. I did not see a single black man with a white woman. I'm sure it probably happens, but for my observation alone, in uh, all the three clubs that I did today, I did not see a single black man with a white woman. But 
I'm just mentioning that to say the Kenyan society is very open-minded and there's no judging here. You know, the people here are just super cool and they are used to expats, especially in the Westlands neighborhood. You know, this is an area where the expats come and play in Nairobi. You know, this is the nicest, I would say, this is one of the nicest area to basically stay at if you're gonna come to Nairobi, especially the first time before you study the lay of the land. You have everything around here within walking distance. So the nightlife is no different. So after we left, we uh, went out to the most famous one of all. It's called Alchemist. So guys, this is Woodbury on the weekend night. The second club we just hit was inside this building here on the 11th floor. So you see the vibe here, a restaurant Havana, Westlands. This place is full of expats. Check out the vibe right here. You know, you think you're in Europe or something. You know, just a bunch of expats here having a good time. Wow, that's Nairobi. Before I go to Alchemist, let me say the music in the second club was also better than the first. And you have a lot more space on the second one. And the crowd is grown and sexy. So this is not a place for teenagers. This is not a place for the youngins. This is a place for the grown and sexy. So there's really no dress code. They just search you as you come in. But the atmosphere is great. You have a top floor where you can have an overview of the bottom. People dancing and everything. And they have some private tables. You don't actually have to have a reservation. We went there on a Saturday night and uh, we were able to get a table, no problem. So you don't need to reserve. Although if you can, I'm sure it's probably better. So from there, we took a quick stroll down the road and within five minutes, we reached the club Alchemist. Alchemist is the most popular one. So guys, this is the entrance of the club Alchemist. So I have to shut down the camera and let's check out. This is a quick walk from the second club. Very, very quick walk. Very, very quick walk. Oh, before I go to Alchemist, another key difference that I want to point out between the first two clubs is that the 4040 Lounge did not have a dance floor, but um, the second brew bistro did. So you could see a lot more people, you know, dancing and they were getting hot and heavy there. That was definitely eye candy to, you know, go there to that club. Now, moving on to the third spot, we walked down the road, I'll put the name of the strip below so you can locate yourself, but the club is called Alchemist. Alchemist was definitely the most popping one. It was bigger than the first two. It has a huge dance floor. It has some swings on the side, a lot of areas to sit away from the main crowd. Tremendous amount of expats. I mean, you it looks like you are in freaking France or something, man, like a lot of foreigners, like you really could appreciate that. Just walking down the street, you could already see all the foreigners there, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of foreigners. But when you get to Alchemist, man, you see people from all over the world there, all over the world, extremely diverse crowd. Nairobi is a very diverse city and definitely the nightlife reflects that, especially at Alchemist. The music was awesome. They played a combination of hip hop and R&B. And another thing I want to point out about this club is that this was among the first, all the three clubs I've seen today, this is one that had a very young crowd, okay? Some of the people there looked like they were 18. Now you had some grown folks in there, but like if you are in that age range between like, let's say 25 and below, and 25 and 18, I believe the drinking age in Kenya is 18. This is definitely your club. Yeah. I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking. It's a great place and people are there, they can mingle, you know. They're not sitting there on the table with their friends and stuff. People are out there going out, you know, having fun, jumping all over the place. So, you know, we had a chance to go in different locations. I was on the first floor, then I went to another floor just to show you guys different angles of the scene there. Now, this is where something interesting happened. When I was there, a security guard came to me and said that someone was complaining that me and my friend were recording. And he told me to my face 
he said you know many of the guys here are not with their wives so if you don't mind just stop recording here and i told him no problem i'm on my way out so that brings me to the conversation about side chicks side chicks is a very very common phenomenon here in kenya and in many countries I'm sure wherever you're watching this from, there is the side chick phenomenon. It's just what the difference is, is Kenyan are very blunt people, you know? They don't hesitate telling you what's up. So because of that, people are more open to say that they have X amount of side chicks. I actually made a video in this neighborhood here, the they claim to be the largest slum in Africa. And we had a discussion about side checks and literally everybody I asked the question, nine out of 10 of them recognized and admitted that they had side checks. So before we went to the club, my friend, Traveling Miss, shout out to you, Traveling Miss, if you're watching this video. She told me many people in the clubs are not there with their girlfriends, they're not there with their wives. They're actually there playing around with someone else. So it's gonna be a little tough getting some footage. So I knew coming in, it was gonna be tough. But uh, when he actually came to me and said, you know, please understand, some of the people here are not there with a the significant other. When that's the reason he gave me, oh boy, that was a funny, funny, funny thing to hear. But I was already on my way out and I, I apologized to him. I said, no worries. And he said, no, 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 it's okay. So I eventually left and we decided to take a drive around Nairobi. Nairobi is a very impressive city. This is one of the most developed places I have seen in Africa. I'm talking highway construction here. Man, the highway is off the hook. When you drive through there, you feel like you're in Europe or something. It is freaking nice, man. Shout out to all the Kenyans watching this video, man. You guys have an amazing, amazing country. And anybody watching this who's wondering, where should I go for my first trip to Africa? I would recommend that you check out Kenya for sure. You you have everything you want here. You're gonna love this country. You're gonna love this city. I wish I had more time so I can go even deeper because Nairobi is not Kenya, right? It's just Nairobi. I would love to see more, but what I've seen here, really, I, I didn't, I didn't want to go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to go to Mombasa and I said, you know, I just don't have enough time. So let me just squeeze myself and knock out you know, Nairobi. And the next time I'm gonna go deeper. But I was impressed by the quality of the malls, the access to all the different fast food chains, the restaurants that they have available, really nice venues. I was impressed by just so many things here, the rooftop bars that they have. Yes, there's a part, you know, there's a slum in, in my part of the city in some areas, but tell me a state that doesn't have a slum, right? So you find everything you, you, you're you looking for here. I love Nairobi and I love, love, love Kenya. I'm glad that I came over here and I wanted to kind of, you know, end my trip here with uh, this video. It's not completely over yet, but I'm, I'm basically getting to the end of my trip. So I wanted to release this video just to have an idea of what the night life looks like so between the 40 lounge the second brew bistro and alchemist it was a good combination of three different venues one very private and small and a little bit more restricted as far as the dancing to one that has good dancing and grown crowd to the third alchemist which is you know all blown out just crazy vibe amazing spot if you are you know uh, down to hang out with the youngins so it was a great spot there's a lot more clubs in here but you know filming all day and shooting at night it's tough so i, I don't really make nightlife that much of my you know to do there are a lot of great things to do here at night. The road is very safe. You see a lot of, you know, expats walking around, bouncing from one club to another. It's very common to see that. Kenyan women are beautiful, man. They're, oh my goodness. You have a lot of beautiful women in, in, in Kenya. So definitely shout out to Kenya. Kenya to the world, for sure. And yeah, I mean, you're definitely gonna have a good time if you come uh, to Kenya. So, so that's it for now. I wanted to give you guys, uh, you know, just an overview of my nightlife experience here in Nairobi. I hope you've uh, gained a little bit more of a perspective for those of you who are thinking about coming here, uh, a better idea of what the nightlife is like over here. And please, if you're watching this and you have more information, drop them in the com comments below, you know, let's share the information, let's pass the information around so people know how to navigate and survive the nightlife in Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate you and hit that subscribe button and uh, i will see you on the next one so from nairobi kenya it's time for me to go to bed good night y'all and thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one